So, okay, so good evening for who doesn't know me. My name is Ming, I'm 20 years old. I live in Sao Paulo with my parents and I work as a teacher. So I want to know if someone is here for the first time. No. Oops, I am here for the first time. Oh, so welcome. <laughs> I will explain a little bit about how TNT works. So here is a safe, safe place where you can practice English, German, Spanish, and other languages. We are here to help you and not to judge you. So feel free to make mistakes. And I will share with you the questions on the chat. Hello, Andre. Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you? Uh, I'm doing great. Uh, even though I'm too tired and empty because I did many things. Uh, in a way, I'm doing great. Yeah, so I think I don't need to split us in small rooms, but I want to know more about you. So, Malu, could you introduce yourself? Yes, of course. So, uh, my name is Malu. I live in Sao Paulo. I'm 24 years old and I work with privacy and data protection, and I'm here in TNT to improve my skills related to my English. And what about you, Jean? Yeah, so um, I live in Araraquara, São Paulo State, and I'm a mechanic engineer. So and I am here to, to learn a little bit more about English, to improve my English skills. So, Kleber. Hello. Uh, we hear me? Yes? Yeah, could you introduce yes. yourself? We can hear you. Uh, this is my first uh, class in talk and talk. My name is Clever. I live in Palmas, Tocantins. Uh, I I am software engineer. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Welcome aboard, I hope you like it. And what about Elisandra? Okay, my name is Elisandra. I'm from Porto Alegre. Uh, I am 29 years old. I am an agronomist. And yes, I am enjoying these conversations in Tinti. Hello, what about you? My name is Hena. I am 32 years old. I'm a software developer and I'm here to improve my English. <laughs> and what about you, Andre? Hi, good evening for all. Uh, my name is Andre and I'm 27 years old. Uh, I currently live with my family in Sao Paulo, Brazil, since I was born. And I'm stay here in order to develop my, my English. Uh, Russially, I have been participating the, the meetings for three months, more or less. I don't know, but I, I think. Okay, okay. so. Good evening, Janora. Yeah, we understand. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing well. Today I'm in Sao Paulo. I'm, I, I'm far from my home. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. No, it's okay. 
could you introduce yourself, please? Yeah. Yeah, my name is Janora. I'm from Sao Paulo, but I live in Rio. Uh, I have a grandson and a son. Um, I'm married. I'm graduated in business. Um, uh, today I travel for my son's birthday. Um, and uh, nice to meet you. I think that I know everyone in that home. Well, if you I don't know yet, nice to meet you all. Yeah, I will split us into small rooms to have a, a better conversation, okay? And let me see. So if you receive an invitation, please accept. And I will, okay, so let's go. I will send the questions on the chat one more time. Okay, so let's start the let me just do something here. Uh, yeah, I think. Okay, so the first question is, what influences the styles, values, and interests of a generation? People, can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Sure. So the first so, question. Uh, it's a difficult question, but I, I will, I will give my point of view. So I think it's the behavior. I think so. Okay. What about you, Kleber? Uh, the first question. Yeah. Influence style values of generation. Um, my influences as movies, singers, uh, values, Christ, Christian values. Um, uh, interest in technology and programming has some yeah. list. Thank, Thank you. you. What about you, Hena? What influences the styles, values, and interests of a generation? Uh, <clears throat> I think many things can influence this but I, I think mainly the media and what people watch on tv moves and the content they consume like the soci social medias i think the this could really influence the these things in the generation. Yeah, I really believe in this too, like historical events or like the time that we are living, the influencers too, like if we think about in the past, like Mandela was an influencer and nowadays is like Vitubi, Boca Rosa and people like that, you know. Yes. <laughs> so they say that each generation is about 10 years. Is it possible to categorize or label every generation? What do you think, Kleber? Uh, 
is possible an next response in, in quantum and I understand the, the question please what do you you don't understand uh, pass up for next next year participant please oh okay so hello i i don't know exactly if we can label it i, I think that there are some some characteristics of each generation that you can can distinguish but uh, i think it's it's changing over time and but, but i don't know exactly you can label it people label it but <laughs> i don't i don't know exactly yeah, what about you, Jean? Yeah, so it's a, <laughs> a very difficult question. So like Helen said, I think that uh, people, um, how can I say, uh, give names, give it for, for each generation, you know? So I, I think that is, there are generation X, Y, Z, you know, so, but I think that's difficult to categorize the, um, the end because I, uh, we have a, a young people, but um, its mind, it's a, a little different from a, a old one, you know, so it's a difficult to label or to categorize. Yeah, I totally agree with you, but I think that it's possible. Like I have a cousin that she's nine years old. So I'm 10 years old than, than her. And like, she doesn't even know what is a CD. So I think we, we can categorize in this way. Uh, yes, you have, a, <laughs> you have an issue. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So how many years difference causes a generation gap? What do you think, Hannah? Uh, uh, maybe, uh, maybe 10 years or 15 years, something like that. You can see this difference, like you said. <laughs> Choose someone. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> um, yes, it's a difficult question as well. So, but I, I'll give some example that I have at, uh, at work. For example, when you have an older, old person who work with me, uh, I feel this difference, you know, so it's a hard people to lead. Um, I think uh, about numbers, 20 years <laughs> of difference. I think it's a difficult, uh, years to, to work with. Yeah, and what about you, Clever? The three question. Yeah. <clears throat> um, the chaos difference generate gap. This, the music uh, Singer, singers died, and new singers. Uh, but like, how many years do you think you can see the difference between a generation and other? Like, twenty years, ten years, five years. Ah, uh, all right. Uh, um 20 25 years 
Yeah, I, I think things are happening so fast today that I think one year it, we can see like the difference, you know, <laughs> because things are, are happening so fast. So yes, I, when... think it's, I think it's mainly for the advance in technology. I think he, uh, years ago, it's slower. Now it's really, it's faster than before. And then you can see it more clearly. <laughs> yeah, totally. And like, when do you feel the generation gap the most? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think when you need to debate uh, some subject with someone, you know, I think that the, the mindset doesn't match, you know, so uh, okay. I feel that the generation gap is when I, I need to face some situation like that. Yeah, to someone. So clear. Sorry. Okay, choose someone. Uh, I need to choose you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, clever. Uh, I don't know response to the question. Mm. So like when Sorry, do you so... when you can see that a generation is changing? How can you see? And when? Yeah, nice. Sorry. Did I not? No. Okay. Uh, Hannah. Okay. Please. I I agree with Jill that when you you need to to I I think. Maybe when you need to maybe argue with someone or, or, or with some subject and it's the mindset is different, you you can see it. And I think the main yeah. difference. I think like nowadays I can see, I can feel this when I see like kids playing. So they are all the time on cell phones. And in my childhood, I just played on the street every day, every time, and was so different. Clever, do you understand now the question? Yes, I understand now. Uh, the the political change uh, this is some as example okay so what do you think are some of the advantages or disadvantages of another generation Hannah could you start yes Mm, I I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the older generations have more difficult with technology. I I can see that, but and the the way they they think is they think differently and. I don't know if uh, it's an advantage or it's a disadvantage. I think it's only different. To someone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> here we go. So I think that um, the most advantage uh, talking about the new generation, I think they are so smart than us before, you know. So uh, I, I have some example, I have a little brother, uh, he's four years old and he took the, the, the remote control and chose uh, movies on Netflix 
you know, so so fast. So and when I when I was four, I <laughs> I only played uh, soccer, you know, uh, things of kids, you know. So I think it's the advantage. Uh, the disadvantages, I think, uh, uh, people are not inter interesting uh, in things like um, political things, you know. So about the world. So I think that the technology um, is getting these people, you know. Yeah. So my point of view. Yeah, I totally agree. Like technology is something so good, help us with everything. But nowadays we have more contact and we have things like so easy that we don't want to think. You know, like sometimes, oh, I will just ask for Google and I don't need to, to think about it. So yeah, I, I, I think nowadays it's, we have so much information that we don't know uh, how to choose. Sometimes it's hard to choose which information you need, you want to consume. And I think sure. it's harder for the youngest generation. Yeah. What about you, Kleber? Uh, I think uh, the advantage is the communication fast and the disadvantage is the social uh, reds, social reds, um, causes ansiedade, um, as is. Okay, so The next one, what are some topics that people of different generations disagree on? Is it possible for people of different generations to agree on things as well? Jean, could you start? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, yes, a difficult question as well. <laughs> But I think that, uh, yes, it's easier to a young generation disagree with the old one. Um, and um, if is it possible for people of different generations to agree? Yeah, so I think it's 50-50, you know, so depends of the subject, I think so. And what about you, Hannah? I think people, It, different generation sometimes disagree. I, I think mainly for the culture, how they treat the matters like money or like religion or, but, but I, I think so at some point you, you need to, to understand the, the other generations and, and agree with them. I see it uh, at, at home when I think I, uh, this last year, I, I changed my job. I, I moved for another house and then my, my dad go crazy like, Oh, you you will do that? No, it's too much. It's like it's too risky. And then uh, I, I see this difference with my dad. Like, <laughs> yeah. And what about you, Claude? I agree with Jean. Uh, Appended subject and. Yes, it, it is possible. Uh, they, they agree 
own thing as well. Uh, principle. Uh, subjects. Yeah, it, polite and what well, and with with dudes. Yeah, I understand you. Like, I think the values change, so it's difficult to talk about some topics like sexuality, abortion, things like this. Like, to talk with my mother, it's okay. But if I want to talk about this with my grandmother, it's impossible. I, I can't. So, change a lot. And do you it's think, better to avoid. <laughs> yeah, it's better. <laughs> it's better. Because, like, I think old, old people always put, like, religion first, you know. So, it's yes, difficult. They have, uh... Yes, they have a closed mind. Yeah. So to live in nowadays, you need to 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 filter something, to have an open mind, to 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 listen to other people, the the other argument. You know, yeah. if it, if you doesn't, you probably can get crazy. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. So yeah. the. Do you think that your life is easier or harder than your parents' lives? What about you, Clever? Uh, <clears throat> my life is easier than my parents, uh, of course. Uh, my life, uh, access, access to comfortable and more more recourse recourses yeah etc <laughs> yeah what about you Hannah yes I I think my my life is is it's easier <laughs> than my parents' lives. I it I can have uh, access to many more things in technology and and I, I I have more comfort on my home and I think I it, it's really easier. And you, yeah. Yes, I think that my life is much, much, much e easier than my parents. So, uh, like the other guy said, uh, I think the comfortable is the first one. And the, um, how can I say, the easy access to, to learn something, to go to a university, to take a course, you know. Um, to have a, a good position, a good occupation, I think it's easier. But I think that in the past, the life was more tranquil, more calm than today, you know? So it depends on the point of view. So talking about comfortable, I think that I, I have a, an easier life. Yeah, I, I think it really depends on the situation. Like... Yeah. Today we have access to uh, so many things and so many courses, free, free courses. So it's more easy like to study. But when you when we talk about like to buy things, today I was I was searching on my mo mother work work record booklet like carteira de trabalho and her salary was like 100 reais like the minimum salary so what we we can buy with this amount of money today nothing you know so yeah sure 
things today are so extensive. So when we are talking about this, it's harder. But to, sure. today we have uh, many things, many more things to spend our money than before. Mm -hmm. Many more things. We have more options. <laughs> like yeah. streaming. Yes. Yeah, sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So... so I think that today you can be what you want, you know. So that time you needed to follow what your father was, what your mother was. So I think that I... our generation, we, we can choose our occupation. But I think the things changed, but we have another problems today, like where people have anxiety, like uh, other problems, like psycho psychological problems because of this uh, so much information and... Yes, sure, I agree. So what role does technology change play in creating a generation gap? Clever. And if you don't understand the question, you can ask okay. Sorry, I understand the question. Uh, okay. Uh, next year for Jean or Rena, please. So, Hena, could you answer? Oh, yes. Uh, I think now it's uh, the the main thing is in, uh, in the difference between generation and the technologies advancing and then the people change the way they interact and the the way they they think because be, before we when you need you need to study like and then and then we need to memorize many things and then now i think it's not so important to memorize so many things but you need to know where to to find the information because it's it's there <laughs> And you, Jean? Yes, sure. Um, I think that the principal rules is the, um, how can I say, the fast increasement of the technology. Um, I think, uh, so I know something today, but 10 years um, uh, on, I don't know if uh, I will learn, you know, something new. So every day technology, technology is changing. So I think that this can create a generation gap, you know, so uh, we can see at my company, people were entering in at the company about 18 years old, uh, speaking three languages, you know, knowing many, many things that I never mind. You know, so yeah, I think like it's my point of view. Yeah, in the same way that technology increases, a new generation is created, you know? So we more access that we have, a new generation is coming, so. Sure. It's difficult to follow them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so difficult. So... I think you, you get used to the technology you have and then when you have new technologies the the newer generations have an advantage on that yes yeah, for no sure when follow. i learn it <laughs> when i learn excel to create a plot uh, they built a um how can i say poor bi you know so <laughs> it's difficult so another program for example so it's difficult to follow them yeah yeah and how can we overcome a generation gap 
who wants to start? Yeah. Yes, so I think that we need to, to be aware to the new things that is appear every year, every second. So I think that we need to be prepared to study a lot, uh, try to, to get good things and uh, bring to, to your knowledge, to your mind, you know. That is it. <laughs> and you, Clever. I think I am, I need, we need um, updated uh, always. Um, use uh, technology to our favor. Uh, YouTube, etc. Okay, thank you. And what about you, Hina? I think we need, like Jean, uh, Clever said, that we need to update our, ourselves and be. Uh, I, I think we need to talk with the other generation and try to understand their point of view of the, the word, how this is different for them. I think this is the way. I think like overcome is a strong word. So I think like just change, but I don't know, like nowadays, I think just technology could do this for us, you know, so we can learn more things like be smart and things like these so with that we can overcome so the next question are people from the older generation always more wise and correct in their ways of thinking and choices why or why not i will start okay so i don't think that like they are Correct. I think they learn to, to be like this. They think that this is right. So they act like this. So not that it's right, but they learn. And they are reproducing this. So things that they, they agree or they disagree. But like for me, I'm correct. And they are not, you know, so it's difficult because of the values, the interests, and what do you think, yeah? Yes, I think that most part of older generation think they are wiser than us. <laughs> but in fact, I think that um, they have a lot of experiences, you know, but, uh, and this is a, like a weight when you need to, 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 how can I say, to find a solution uh, of something. So uh, I need, I think that um, sometimes maybe they can be correct, but sometimes they don't, you know. So there are many, many ways to do something, but uh, they tell us that we need to follow the old steps, the old way. So I think that depends on the case, you know. And you, Kleber. I agree with Jean. Of, of depends of the case. Uh, it and depends of the people. Uh, um, we we have people. Uh, uh, weird jobs, weird, uh, more wise uh, as adopt today. 
Yeah, that's true. And what about you, Hena? I, I think it depends on the the context. You it, it can they can be wiser in some matters and not in others. I I think it really depends. <laughs> Yeah, all the things depends on the situation, right? <laughs> yes, yes. But I think the 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 older generation have uh, advantage of the experience, but it it has comes with a disadvantage of the knowing the like new technology or, and I think the society too is different the way we think about other subjects like sexuality and and, and things like that yeah so like is it possible for parents and children to be friends like i think this is totally possible because my parents are like my best friends so what do you think, Kleber? I agree. Uh, yes, me. Completely. Uh, children, parents, it's possible, yes. Uh, be friends, best friends. Genoia, how was the conversation? It was nice, but you cannot finish. But I think you you make seventy percent. But it was was nice. Uh, I have uh, have subject. Uh, I, I I I talk about uh, um, different generation because I, I'm not a, a good example because I make a tattoo before my son. I got married any time as well. <laughs> Oh, that can so I you are you are you are the new generation. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes my my son uh, is more old than me. <laughs> yeah. So, do you think that it's possible for parents and children to be friends? Yeah. So. Yeah, I I. I agree. Yes, I, I agree. And I, I, I am a friend, best friend of my, my, my son. And when I, I uh, work, uh, work it, uh, my, my friends, I don't know how to say, pessoas que trabalhavam comigo, uh, all, all young people, I, I talk about everything, drugs, marriage, children, movies, uh, beer, wine, I don't know. <laughs> okay, thanks for sharing. And what about you, Andre? How was the conversation? And do you think that it's possible for parents and children to be friends? Uh, yeah, the, the conversation uh, was amazing. It was amazing. I would like to repay there more time. I would, I would like to talk a lot. It was incredible. Uh, about the uh, about the narrations, do you do you do you tell? Well, I didn't understand. Like, is it possible for parents and children to be friends? Ah, uh, yeah, of course. It's a very important to stay together with your parents and and your and your and your sister, children. 
But at the moment, uh, I, have a, I have a new fan, a new fan. So in English, a new fan, né? New fan. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, she's she's a great person for me, and and my sister, my sister. But I, I was looking for keeping touch with her, and 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 my well and my relatives that is, uh, is is a great person for me <laughs> okay and what about you Alexandra how was the conversation okay the conversation was very nice we can hear about different opinions and she, um, as Genora said um, um, <laughs> uh, share different uh, lives and gener different thoughts of of each generations. <laughs> uh, yes, that's good. And do you think that your life is easier or harder than your parents' lives? Okay, I would say that in some cases it's easier because. As we we told before, the internet and the technologies uh, turns our life more simple, and it's easier to learn everything and to get in touch with people around the world, for example. So in this case, it's easier, <laughs> but. Uh, I would say that in the generation of my parents, for example, um, they could buy uh, more things that in nowadays, <laughs> for example, they they could buy a house, two houses, <laughs> actually. And nowadays, I, I don't know, I see that people can't buy too much things, for example. <laughs> so in this case, it's harder to get money, to, to can, I don't know, uh, have more stability, for example. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And I want to know, Kleber, how was your first conversation here? If you want to share in Portuguese, it's okay. I love this class. Jean, uh, Hena, uh, I I learned some puzzles and and Yasmin is very very good. The questions. I love you. You are out. Okay, so I hope to see you in the next conversation, too. So please come back. And yeah, how was the conversation for you? Yes, it was good. So the, the questions, uh, it's not easy, but it was easy, but uh, we could have a, a very good conversation in a high level. So I think it was good. And what about you, Anna? I agree with Jean. It's I really like the topic. It's uh, it's always good topics. <laughs> it's always uh, things you need to think about in your life, and <laughs> it's uh, I really like it. Okay, so I'm sharing with you a link of a survey. So please tell us what you think about this conversation. And I want to thank you all for this amazing conversation. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you on the next meetings too. So thank you very much and have a good evening.